is uh, the Cube, our flagship program of Altitude Advanced Extracted Signal from the Noise. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's coverage of IBM Edge. This is where all the action is happening for IBM's ecosystem around big data, storage, infrastructure. I'm John Furrier, the co founder of SiliconANGLE, and I'm joined by my co host. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and uh, this is Edge. This is the Cube. We're here with Joe Jagadich, who's the vice president and CIO of Ellis Don. They provide construction services. Uh, out of Ontario. Uh, Joe, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks for coming on. I have to talk about your role. So you're not only the CIO, you're the president of a, 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 an edge, the edge building division, right? Actually, yes, uh, I wear two hats, which is uh, uh, a very different way to look at a CIO's role. It's uh, very much in line with uh, the business. Uh, I have my own profit and loss center. And basically what I do is I build, uh, my team is a very creative team that builds uh, collaborative construction management uh, software for the construction industry. Silos, IT obviously you know, touches every part of the industry. Is that you know, well, at least one reason? Or, or well, I others? think it is one reason, but the most uh, important reason is that uh, information, de decision uh, support is so critical for our people. Uh, construction isn't about bricks and mortars. Uh, construction is about innovation. It's about planning, it's about strategy. It's about reducing end-to-end -end risk for our clients, who are actually the people that are coming to us to say, we want you to effectively go out, take our funding, and build something beautiful for us, something very functional. But we take away all the risk. And in order to do that, we have to have the information available to us to make all the right decisions at the right time. Joe, I got to ask you, you see, um, what kind of new devices do you see throwing off data? Obviously, instrumentation of is not a new concept in the industrial world, but in terms of measurement, like uh, construction, whether it's facilities, um, and for effort on e, uh, eco building, right. all kinds of new sustainability is all kind of data driven. Right. Can you give me uh, examples of, of what yeah, you've seen? Sustainability is, is a huge thing. When we look at, and this is a, a common um, issue in, in construction. You mentioned facilities management. The demographics is such that um, there used to be facility managers that did things intuitively. Now everything is measured, absolutely everything. There's no more light switches in a lot of the new buildings being uh, uh, designed today. Every corner of a building has heat sensors. All of that translates into data. So when you ask about uh, smarter buildings, that's exactly what we talk about. And all of it translates into petabytes of information that we have to obviously look at. And uh, really, the data is now driving the type of applications that we're building, whether it be a mobile application or a web-based application. It's all derived from the need to take that data and transform it into information. Well, did you ever think about, okay, hey, why don't we just outsource this to you know, the public cloud, go to Amazon or some other public cloud? Talk, talk about that sort of decision point, if you would. Well, I'll tell you, uh, one of the things that uh, we have always uh, been very cautious of is having the ability to control and manage our information and our data. We are very transparent about it. But we have 60 years of construction experience. People in the construction business, if I'm going to sell to a, a, another general contractor, they want to know that it's a construction guy selling them that software because it gives them some, some form of confidence in the uh, software itself. So that's been one of our trademark successes. Yeah, architecture, let's, let's unpack that a little bit. And, and how, do you, how do you, you know, what kind of advice would you give your colleagues that are trying to understand the hands around the data architecture? Well, the data architecture, and, uh, and I think that you, you talked about it earlier, there's a lot of elements to this. You know, the mobile uh, consumerization of data. You know, every time a, a uh, person get, brings his, be, uh, bring your own device to work, uh, if you're into if you're into that type of environment, which many of us CIOs are, you have to worry about uh, your data creep. And when I mean data creep, you're talking about data going from, uh, you know, let's say my company's got 1,500 people. If you have 1,500 people with different uh, uh, devices, basically what's happening there is they can be going out to the iCloud. Uh, they could go out to different cloud environments. And that's where you start losing control of the valuable pieces of information that your company holds 
very uh, Azure Crown Jewels, for example, as I think that term was used this morning. So what you have to do is you got to know how you're going to integrate and work in this hybrid environment. What's what's next to, in your roadmap? Well, in my roadmap, basically what I see is uh, in my PNL, I see the uh, multi-tenancy becoming greater and greater as these uh, infrastructures become more of a, a commodity or utility. I think that uh, the other smaller companies are going to be looking for larger companies like Elliston to provide these alternative services. So we're, we're no longer viewed as just a core construction company. We offer services, and not just in IT, but all different services within the industry. We have moved into insurance. We have moved into uh, bonding capacities. We've moved into research and development. So we are trying to be innovators uh, for the construction industry, and uh, we are being respected for doing that. And just your advice for other CIOs out there, what would you share with those guys out there who are looking at IT and saying, I want to invest in transformation, I want to invest in growing the business top line, as well as manage costs, and still hit this new modern era. What's well, your advice? My advice to them is move away from the traditional role of the CIO very quickly because you're going to be left behind. And when you're left behind, your company's going to be left behind as well. Take advantage of the new innovations. The nice thing about it is the harmonization of lower cost and greater capability. And if they can sell that message to their CEOs and to their board of directors, that's what they need to be doing. Okay, Joe, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Uh, we'll be right back here at IBM Edge in Las Vegas. This is where all the action's happening in IT transformation. IBM leading the charge. Uh, big company making some big moves around data, storage at the center of the value proposition. Dave Vellante and I have always been saying storage at the center of the value proposition and now at IBM it is. We're here with all wall-to-wall -wall coverage in SiliconANGLE. We'll give you on the Cube uh, here at IBM Edge for the next two days. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.